Um, I do want to uh, turn back to Anya, who I think we do have. Otherwise, I can ask questions all day long, believe me. <laughs> you know, we have a going all night. <laughs> that was an amazing interview. You guys really managed to cover a lot of ground in 35 minutes, the entire world. So thank you so much. Michelle, if I could just keep you for one last question. You, we touched a little bit on diversity earlier, but, you know, Secretary of Defense Esper and the leadership were ready to rename those Confederate bases. The president famously said, absolutely not. Um, when Condi Rice was speaking in the opening session two days ago, she said she thinks it's time. Do you agree with that? And, and beyond that, is that enough? Or what more do we need to do for diversity inclusion in the force? I absolutely agree that we need to rename bases. Um, that, but that is absolutely not enough. It's a first step. It's an important first step. It sends a signal. But I think the department needs to be do a top to bottom scrub of why it doesn't have more diversity in the military ranks, in the leadership ranks, in the civilian ranks. Um, why it's not just about um, inclusion uh, in, in, in terms of um, numbers, it's about people feeling like they are, they truly belong, that they have equal opportunity within defense, um, that they can contribute to their, you know, absolute best. So I think there's a lot of um, work that can and should be done. I think most of the leaders in the Pentagon, if allowed, would be leaning forward, running forward on this issue. Um, but they need, you know, to be allowed, they need a White House that will allow them to do that good work. Um, and to bring the full talent of, um, you know, the American population into, the, you know, to bear in the national security cadre. If you take, if you have biases against women, you take 50% of the population, the talent pool off the table, you know, and the same is true for various ethnic groups. We, our strength has always been that we figure out how to draw from that. And we're better for it when we do, including in the performance of the organization. So. I think that's an area where we can make a lot of progress. We just need the right leadership um, to really not only allow that to happen, but to champion it happening. Thank you, Michelle. That was really a tour de force around the entire world, around the defense globe, so to speak. Courtney, thank you very much, both of you for being here. And we hope to see you next year in real Aspen, not in virtual Aspen.